Welcome back to Bougie Bravo Bitches, where we talk all that Bravo tea from basic to bougie. We're your hosts. I'm Jenna. I'm Darcy. And I'm Amanda. Let's get into it, bitch. <laughs> it's the best day of the week. Yeah, it's it a good day. Thursday is a good day. I was thinking mm. today, I like Thursdays. Me too. I uh-huh. like Thursdays. I like Fridays. Like sometimes when we do, we're doing this on like a Wednesday, I was like, oh no, that's just like makes the, <laughs> a Wednesday <laughs> long and then the week is not over yet. I'm not happy about that. It's like we do this and then we're just cruising into the weekend. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be easy at work. It's just mm-hmm. me. My boss is at the shore. A short day. You know, living the dream. Nice. American dream. Loves that for you. Um, you guys, we had 3,000 followers on the IG, Jeez, on the old IG. I'm so proud of us. I know. That's or- really cool. What do we say? Organic growth. Organic. Organically. All organic. No bots, no bot followers here. Should we everyone. buy them, you guys? Like, should I like? No. Right, no. Fine. I like to know that the people that are looking at our stuff are real humans and not AI. Yeah. <laughs> and it is also very obvious when you've bought When followers. you go from 3,000 to 10,000 overnight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. But so many people solicit us to like help us get bots too. Oh, like, really? Oh. Yes. We get so many people like with these marketing schemes, like, oh, it's only like $100 a month and you'll get 100,000 followers by next week. No, ma'am. Yeah. No, ma'am. Well, anyways, we had 3,000. Good for us. I'm excited. Onward and Thank upward. you, everybody. Thank you, fans. Us. We appreciate you. Tell your friends. Follow us. Um, we were speculating hard last week on whether or not something about her would open, and they did open. But I saw. I have been speaking to a lot of people, including a friend of ours who lives out that way, and he was like, I don't think they'll stay open very long. The rent's too high, and their POS system already crashed. So, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. But they did a soft launch like two days before the hard launch, and Andy was there. And also mm-hmm. Lindsay Hubbard and then Stassi and Bo. I just thought it was a sweet little reunion. I wish Stassi would come back. I know she said it's just like not for her anymore, but I I know I would enjoy that. I know. There's so many people that like have so many comments about her mm-hmm. not being welcome back because yeah. she was canceled. But I'm like everyone deserves an opportunity to redeem themselves, don't they? Agree. Maybe not everybody, but some people do. People that have shown growth and that they've learned from it. And then there's others that don't and don't deserve to come back. Yeah. Agreed. Anyways. um, So they did actually open on Wednesday. Hard launch and soft launch. Nice. And Loverboy is on the menu. And yes. That's cute, their spirit. Yeah. Genius. There's a cute little pic of yeah. them with Amanda and Kyle. So good for them. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. Good marketing. Did you guys see that Lindsay has a new a new old boyfriend, like an old flame that she rekindled with? I no, like who is saw it? Something. Um, honestly, right when I was logging on, there I had heard it, but she actually must have given an interview because it was on like Us Weekly or People, so I didn't have time to look at oh. it. Oh, but yeah, I posted it, but I didn't have time to actually read it because I was no, logging I on to here to talk it. to you guys. Yay. But it, she said like something quote like. Sometimes it's like, oh, what did she say? It's like a boomerang. You go out the first time and the timing wasn't right. And then they come back around us weekly. To have to Not that what happened after. with Carl? Didn't work yeah. the first time, came back around, didn't work the second time. <laughs> Boomeranged right out of there. <laughs> Boomeranged out. Well, anyways, good for her. I didn't think she'd stay single this long, to be completely honest. But it, there's been so many rumors of her dating so many people, like, Mm-hmm. Free singer, Johnny Bananas, so many people, but apparently this is a boyfriend this time. So all right. Um, oh, I wanted to say something about Stassi. Did you guys see this? I, I saw it before like people called attention <laughs> to it, but she posted this picture of like her son's new passport and she, all she wrote on it was like only took two weeks to come in, which when Jackson Brittany didn't go to her wedding and like gave her no notice. One of the reasons was like they couldn't get their son's passport in time. I love it. <laughs> shady boots. Maybe she wasn't being shady, but I tend to think yeah, she, she probably was. was. <laughs> I tend to think she probably was. Um also our queen Teresa's birthday was this week. I'm happy, happy birthday. Happy HBD birthday. Trey. We're excited for you. 
<laughs> what else is happening? Little Kim and Croy news, which I don't even quite understand. So I'm going to defer to Amanda because I really didn't get this closet thing. So they have like a closet in their bedroom and they Oh, are it's not a real a- closet. Yes. Right. yes so they're they're all, I'm like, is this some kind of weird legal term? I haven't it heard is their primary bedroom closet and can't they have designated times that they can use it the court has to designate their times so kim can use it from nine to three daily and croy can use it at any time that's not the time and they're not allowed to sell anything so kim has to stop selling clothes oh, all of her old shit and poshmark <laughs> why are they not allowed to sell anything it's because their- i think the judge is because in their divorce it's like they're fighting over what is whose and money and he mm. croy doesn't want her to sell stuff and then gamble it away is what i'm assuming i don't know but that's what i assume this is wild Closet designated closet hours you can't it's sell not. anything I... at plato's closet <laughs> <laughs> they won't take it anyway <laughs> that's to be mint condition you've seen those scruffed up cardio bracelets she's trying to sell as new <laughs> Oh, man. Um, okay. I was – so we heard that Catherine Dennis was arrested for DUI, but then I just watched the TMZ footage of her in the back of the cop car. <laughs> it doesn't look good. She's, like, screaming at the guy for, like, putting her seatbelt on. Like, why are you touching me like that? I'm like, mm, he just put your seatbelt on for you because your hand. And then yeah. she's like, I want my puppy. Where's my puppy? <laughs> that was it the was- very not Catherine good. Dennis. It was yeah. very Catherine Dennis. It, yeah, it's not looking good for her. She already like kind of was having more custody issues because of failed drug tests too, wasn't she? Well, she doesn't have custody. She only has visitation at a visiting center Bec- because of the like problem drug tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't gonna help. It seems like a little trip for a little. Um, what do they call that when the celebrities go to rehab? exhaustion? Exhaustion. Mm, yeah. yeah, a little trip for exhaustion is in order. I could use one of those little trips. I'll be honest. Yeah, for exhaustion but, but for real for exhaustion. Reasons. I need one for real exhaustion. For, for both. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I need one for real exhaustion. That's what I need one for. Um. Speaking of Charleston, Potomac was filming their cast trip in Charleston, which I'm just like, okay, like another lame, not international vacation. I know. I watch enough Charleston on um, Southern Charm. So as long as it's not chicken shit bingo, like we can only go off. Like two episodes of chicken shit bingo have done you in for the rest of your life. Well, I guess they did do an international vacation in addition to their stupid Austin trip, but. Hmm. They just are like, they're notorious for not going anywhere on vacation. It's annoying to me. Um, did you guys see that Melania got in a car accident? I did see. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's did. scary. Crashed yeah. her brand new Benz. But Good was, old Jersey driving. There was some arguing over who was at fault, and it seems like she it actually wasn't at fault. No, so. the guy went through a stop sign and hit her. Yeah. <laughs> scary the um beverly hills cast was revealed and nothing was really all that surprising about it because we kind of heard all of this but mains are garcelle erica dreet kyle sutton and bazoma and then kathy and jennifer tilly are friends of this season so bye crystal like bye Anne marie nothing else changed i kind of feel like they needed more changes than that and you know what just bring back lisa rena already Not i wish they would bring back lisa because she was good yeah, she's needed. Lunch this is boring. <laughs> Shitster. Yeah. Summer agrees. So boring, this cast. <laughs> but I guess we'll see what they do. Um, at least Kathy's back. Oh, did you see Kyle was hanging out with Kesha? They went Has somewhere. Yeah. Been, like, yeah, yeah, times. yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> She's really, you know what I'm thinking? Like, if this was a man, like, if this was the Maurizio out there with like these young 20 celebrities, like, they would be like, talking so much shit but since it's a woman hanging out with another woman it's like not a big deal but it's weird i'm sorry it's weird. weird she's in her 50s her daughters are like the same age like it's it's awkward it's weird why is she hanging out with kesha what do you Does even have in common seen with morgan lately i don't i, I know mm. she was seen with kesha and morgan okay a little weird thing going on that is weird um but it's like really Giving midlife crisis hard. I mean, it's been giving. Yes, that is true. Yeah. So. Well, very strange. Very strange. Um, do you guys watch Bridgerton? I do. I do. 
Oh, you don't, Darcy? That's I don't have sense. Netflix. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Don't get me going. I forgot. Sorry. Sorry. You're banned. <laughs> um, are, are you watching the new season, Amanda? I haven't watched it yet. I tried it. I watched one episode, but then I fell asleep. So got to get into okay. it. But I love Bridgerton. Um, anyways, Bryn was seen. Bryn from Roni was seen with one of the bro- the Bridgerton brothers. And the one who I think the season is about. Yeah, it yeah, is. Colin, it Colin yeah. Bridgerton. I don't yeah. know his real name. <laughs> Colin Bridgerton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. I saw it on Dumois. It did say his real name, but I don't know what it is. But yeah, she was seen with him canoodling. He was seen kissing Jesse Solomon. Hair. Shot a shot with Bryn. He did. Yeah. He he talks a lot of shit on Instagram, like flirty little shit. With did you Amanda. see it? I was about Amanda. Saying, with you Bryn. Like, I, I love, love Amanda's, Amanda's can. can. <laughs> <laughs> That's because people were saying that she was flirting with him. So he, mm-hmm. they're like, he's playing into it. I think it's funny. Good for I him. Too. It's hilarious. Good for him. Um, we have two premieres coming up soon. Um, not next week, but the following week. We have Dubai premiering on the second, which is a Sunday. So it's like. Why are we doing that thing where we're forcing two shows on one day when we have all these other days of the week? But mm-hmm. that's my opinion. Um, and then we have Med premiering on the third, which the other blow up will be done by then. So, yeah, exciting. All right. Two housewives at one time. I just can't Orange believe County should be coming soon too. It did say coming soon. They didn't give yeah. a date, but it said coming soon. But that is kind of fast production, in my opinion. That's a super fast turn. Hopefully, they do it because of what's happening with Evum. What's his face? Oh. Ryan. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that's not exciting enough. For this. no, but different fan group of <laughs> who's following the baseball scandal yeah. and who's watching Orange. County. I don't think we have it. Like, could get your husband, all of our all. husbands, to watch though. <laughs> yeah. My husband is the one who told me about it. My husband and my dad told me about it because, and I don't even think we have the right information. Yeah, I looked. I tried to look into it again, and it's he is involved somehow, but like it's. I don't think he was the one stealing the money. He was like the liaison between the person who stole the money and the baseball player. He's like the. They called him the translator, but I don't think that meant like translating. No, the the translator, the baseball player's translator, stole the money. He's from Japan, so yeah, he doesn't speak. Yeah, but Ryan was the bookie, or he's between the bookies. But I feel like there's another. There's like he's not the main bookie. Like he's like between the like okay. associate. Yeah, like he's the, the between the bookie okay. and the translator. Okay, okay, yeah. that makes sense. See, so I don't weird. really understand. So I don't. I don't, I don't think he got any money so. either. <laughs> we should start another pod of us just describing court cases and crime cases that are going yeah. on in our own words. Yeah, they have one called the Bravo Docket. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure they did like an episode on this. Layman's term. I'm sure they did actually. If they haven't, I bet they will. They yeah. love. I like when they cover mm-hmm. that kind of stuff because it does Me help too. you understand it. Oh, for sure. Um, and the last little piece of news is that Sonia is now auctioning off the townhouse, which I guess they're running it now to the 29th. Yeah. I find it funny because actually when she was saying she's just going to sell it, I think Luann at, at BravoCon when I was sitting in on their panel was like, you should like try to auction it off or something like that. And she's and then George was like, just get rid of it. And here we are like almost a fucking year later and she still has it and now she's auctioning it off. But hopefully she just gets rid of it. Get rid of it. I keep Done seeing it that. on VRBO. Like I want to rent it. But <laughs> I tried to rent it. It was like not that bad. It was like a thousand bucks a night. Who can't rent that for a thousand bucks a night? It's a, it seems like a creepy place to stay though. To me, I'd be down, but I think our window has passed. I think so. I think so. Um, let's get into the show's O oh, the week. I think this is Amanda's favorite time of the week. Summer House. Summer House. I was like, I want to be like, also, it's my favorite show of the week this morning when you guys were texting, but I didn't because I didn't want to like. You could have. I didn't want to like burst your bubble with recording. It's like, okay. Um, okay, we want to get into it. First things first. Car- Carl, such an a hole. Such an a hole. But I'll say what I said earlier is that his level of pettiness is something I can get behind, but I still think he's an asshole. <laughs> but I think it's also hilarious that he dipped out without taking I think it's so away. funny. I did it's too. So it's so funny. Funny. I thought it was like <laughs> hysterical. So yeah. they get in a fight and they were, you know, fighting all weekend again, whatever. He, she's not warm enough. Like whatever the case. First of all, when has anyone ever thought of Lindsay as a warm person? She no. is the 
definition of opposite of warm. So for Carl to even want her to be warm, like that's never going to be Lindsay. But I feel like she was more like beep, 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 beep last summer. So maybe that's what he is like looking for. But that's just like honeymoon stagey. That's not like Yeah, it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Anyways, you know, it's just further proof they shouldn't be together. Whoever's no, you're there's, absolutely there's right. no fault. Yep. <laughs> they just should not be together, to be honest. But I think Carl was obviously so checked out. He should have just called it off earlier. See, I think that's the problem. Because I, I feel like Lindsay would have gone. Out. I think Lindsay would have gone through with it, though. That's the difference. Lindsay would have gone through with it. But yeah, Carl that just didn't call makes called it off too late. A bigger idiot <laughs> to, <laughs> to sell your life to someone you don't want to be with. No, thank you. I know, I know. Um, also, Kyle and Amanda fighting is too, it's like annoying too. It's like they're competing yeah. for the worst couple award, and I'm sick of it. Yeah, I Kyle's got a oh my god, and then oh god, Danielle and Carl like pumping up Kyle like he's so great. Like get out of here. When I Carl's know. like, I understand, and, I understand, and Danielle being like, you built something out of nothing. Shut the right. fuck up, Danielle. you two. As a, founder, as a founder and, and CEO, CEO, she understands. Which, like, you are just not a girl's girl, bitch. Like, no. at all. No. No. Well, the way no. she was, like, talking about Kyle to Carl and just being like, it's got to be so hard when people just don't appreciate what you've oh. built. And it's like, you know this is the fight that he's, like, kind of having with Lindsay, too. Like, Danielle creeps me out. She's a fucking I just, weird She's just a creep. Yeah. I can't with her. I can't What are you stand drinking, her. milk? Chocolate milk? This is a, a shot of espresso with tequila cream. Oh, oh wow. get it, girl. Wow, I'm wait. not drinking yet. I gotta go I was pick like, up is that a white Russian? What's happening over there? <laughs> tequila and coffee. Is this 1985? It's like a espresso martini with tequila. Yeah. Did you guys see my mom, my mom, Stanley Cup? I feel like oh, if, you you're gotta gonna, see if you're a mom, you have to have one, don't you? <laughs> you? Guys, I had to get one. I have to say this. You've been staying hydrated? Breastfeeding is like depleting. I get so thirsty in the middle of breastfeeding. You get so like, I, thirsty. All of a sudden, I'm like, I'm dying. I'm in the Sahara. Like, it's like, like are you like, done like, eating yet? I need a drink. As soon as you start feeding, you get like this weird craving for water. It's like the yeah, weirdest thing. It's so weird. Like, and sometimes if I forget my Stanley, which like isn't very often, but I, I've woken Joe up in the middle of the night. I'm like, water. I need water. <laughs> I like threw something. I'm like, water, please. <laughs> Anyways, back to Summer House. Um, what was I going to say? I wanted to say something else about Danielle. I don't know. She's just not a girl's girl. It's so gross to me. It's annoying. But I think that's why her and Lindsay are friends because Lindsay's not really a girl's girl either. So mm-hmm. it kind of makes sense. It is kind of nice seeing Lindsay get along with the girls this summer, though. Yeah, Agreed. it's like the what could have been. I know they all yeah. already like don't like her again or like indifferent to her <laughs> again, but it, it's the what could have been, I suppose. Mm. But we'll never know. Um, Jesse going for his cancer scan and like being upset about it was really sad. Yeah. I felt bad about that. And I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it's fine, but I haven't heard anything else. To the contrary, but hopefully he's fine. Do you want me to give you a spoiler? No. Yeah, go ahead. No, okay. just kidding. <laughs> this is not, it's not that exciting. Uh, story, no, he doesn't have cancer. I he figured doesn't have cancer. if he did, we would already know about it. Like we yeah. already knew, like Gertie had cancer long before the whole season. That's what I figured, <laughs> yeah. right? Like I will. Yeah. Um, the reunion looks came out, and they look great and i have to say like everyone actually being cohesive and wearing outfits that go together i don't know i think they left danielle off the they group did chat. Well, <laughs> they, did. <laughs> they did she looks like I pinup i don't understand why i don't know what she's wearing i didn't like she it it wasn't flattering was courtney kardashian no courtney was the inspiration for and, her look no, i don't interesting agree. but you know was it not not Courtney? Failed. It she wasn't Courtney Kardashian. Parker, clearly, it was just Courtney Kardashian because <laughs> she does not look like that anymore. <laughs> I was like, "Where's the I mean, black? Where's your um, Dolce lace?" Oh, did you guys watch the Kardashians? I watched it today. No. I, I'm you. I'm lucky. Came I'm out. Here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't even know what fucking uh, day it is. <laughs> oh boy um the, so the reunion looks i thought looked good i didn't think danielle looked bad she just it was not cohesive but everyone looked great and you know what mm-hmm. i thought it was a nice redemption for gabby because she looked 
awful last season. And I think there was something about like her dress getting fucked up or something that was like a second dress that wasn't like her original option oh. from last year, mm. not this from last season. But she looked good. Mm. They all looked good. Amanda, what did you think of Carl and his bold statement of oh white pants? God. They were like white linen pants. They were fucking awful. Those were so <laughs> bad. They were like, I don't know what they were. They were linen, but they weren't like a nice flowy linen. They were almost tight. Were very tight. Not a fan. I think I just one thing I you can it. count on Carl for is to always wear a white pant. So yeah, I did like that his jacket. It was hold. different for Carl. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I he don't know. He needs to do like an influencer I will... deal with like OxyClean or like the Tide Go <laughs> pen. Go. You know? I said Wes looks like he's going to his eighth grade graduation and borrowed his like <laughs> older brother's suit that was just a little bit too big. So funny. <laughs> So funny. Um, anything else on Summer House? It's on tonight. What? I can't right, wait. I just yes. I'm so saw excited. like very briefly like a real. I'm like, what is the theme of tonight's party? Steampunk or something? Doomsday. Um, don't understand that. Should I look at? Is that mm-hmm. supposed to make sense to me? I don't get it. Like the world's ending. Like the end of the world. Why are they dressed like that then? That's their interpretation. How would you dress at the end of the um, I would be in bomb shelter somewhere, so he wouldn't find me dressed up, mm. probably. I'd be in yoga okay. pants, still. So. Not me. I'd be I'd be running towards the bomb. Take me out. I'm not trying to survive. Thank Fair. you. Yeah, I'm not built for that. If any one of us is built for that, Darcy, it's no. you, first of all. Actually, yeah. it's not me. I, it's wish I just texted you this week uh, and said, if an apocalypse oh happens, God. I'm getting all my guns, yeah. but I'm coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I have uh, is my Second Amendment right, and that's about it. That's the only survival I have in me. <laughs> We've got, got a flourishing nothing. garden and a strawberry. That's why we're batch. talking about it because of your garden. Your yeah. beautiful mm-hmm. garden. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about Ramje. So I find it interesting that Teresa was barely a part of this, but was a part of it more than anyone else. Like. Have a whole Mm -hmm. freaking party where she's not invited, which I don't think she would go. And then everyone just talks about her the whole freaking time. Nobody has a storyline. Marge, Rachel, you have no storyline except Teresa. Get it's it's annoying. It's annoying me. I hate Marge. I'm very over her. Other than the fact that I just like when she speaks because I just think it's funny. Anytime she talks, like her her voice, her accent just makes me laugh. But I'm over her. You have no storyline. I did. Like when Jen Fessler was like, I'm not your soldier. Like, I thought that's mm-hmm. good for you because Rachel's being a soldier. It kind of made me wonder why Jen Fessler yeah. wasn't a main because I feel like she's bringing main character energy. I guess we'll have Every to Every episode see. so far, it's she's played a I mean, it's a whole. Piece. I think she said herself she didn't want to be a main because it was too invasive mm. in her privacy. And yeah, she didn't maybe she doesn't want like, her kids and stuff. And if yeah, you exactly, won't film that, then exactly. you really can't be a man. Yeah. And I don't think her husband wants to be, like, involved yeah. at all. Well. Like, I think him and Nate are, like, they're my favorite kind of husband because they're just there. kind of, like, on yeah. the periphery. Yeah. Well, mm. so there were, they started off in their, like, respective, you know, friend group houses. And the Aidens were not invited to the Gorgas party. And then Marge felt bad because Dolores felt bad. So then Joe Gorga calls Bill Aiden to invite him and he declined, which I was like, go, Bill. That's Good my king. You. That's my fucking king. I love Bill. I've I always died. loved Bill. When See? Jen was in her interview, she's like, don't you fuck with me, Bill. Don't you fuck with me. Yeah. I was laughing. <laughs> the picture of her, the, the meme of her face. I'm like, that the is finger. my mother. Like, I was so triggered. I was triggered <laughs> to my childhood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> clean your fucking room. Like that face. I can't. It's like what I do to my children so now. Funny. Watch yourself. Um, mm. do, okay, I have to, I, you know, I'm obviously like a major Teresa stan all day, but like, why were we invited to their like sponsorship deal with the moving company as part of the Because they got it for free. <laughs> like, why are why. we filming the moving this? Company like, we're literally have... filming your sponsorship because... deal with the moving company. <laughs> the movie company said, if you put us on TV, we will move know, for free. It's so funny mm. to me. Like, it was like Gabriella hasn't talked in uh 18 years and she was like come this way my belongings are over here <laughs> <laughs> so funny I just laughed I laughed it was funny it was cute when Joe Judas called Louie and him are mm-hmm. like tight I think that's cute good for them 
it's nice. I think that's see. the testament to like Louis's character. Not that Joe Judas is a good judge of character per se, but I'm just saying, like the fact that like everyone can get along and like that Joe, you know, is like they're nice to one another. I think that's a testament to Louis as a person. Not mm-hmm. everyone else is like scandalous, like salacious news about him. Yeah, Team I just, Louis. I still don't understand. Any Team of that. Louis. Um. Also, I made a meme about how this was like another party sponsored by Focaccia Bread. Basically, like why the why the fucking like, bread is, messages at all of their parties? I don't understand. Like why why do you need chow written in bread? I just can't. Do you I'm think anybody eats no. the bread? No. Is it purely the fact that anyone even eats at all at these yeah. parties is very different from any other house. I think they're party. all doing coke in the bathroom, especially at a gorgeous party. Was somebody party. doing yeah. coke in your bathroom? I feel they like are. they are all probably doing coke they in the bathroom. At probably a off party. that uh, blow up doll's oh, ass. That was so oh, weird. God. Disgusting. I hate John Fuda, you guys. Like, he with is, a passion. He is such a, like... He's a creep. Housewife when he is on the be. screen, I can't focus on anything besides his, his mouth. Teeth. I don't know what he's saying. His teeth, his mouth, his weird upper lip. It's just, I just I'm like, why are off my you like, dressed like this? Why do you look like this? Like you work at a tile store. I don't understand. Like, just wear a weird polo and go to work. I can't. And I really can't with Rachel's nose either. Like she looks like Cindy, Cindy Lou Who. It just keeps going higher and higher and higher in the air. We've been watching a lot of botched and then like after watching that for so long and then watching mm-hmm. her, I was like, oh, she's lost too much cartilage. And Dr. Nassif, we need you. And, like, Dr. Nassif, we need you. <laughs> we love botched. That's so funny. We love botched. It's so I've been watching good. it since day one. Joe loves that show. It's, it's so, so good. Funny. They're funny. I miss Dr. Nassif and Adrian Maloof. Mm-hmm. Um, Jackie made an appearance finally. Was this the first time we've seen her, right? She wasn't at the I don't think she yeah. was at the other no, party. Yeah, she wasn't at Danielle's party. And she no. kind of came in hot too, like she... for Jen. Like, why are you making this a big deal, Marge? And so I can see why things have happened the way they have, and it seems it starts pretty early in the season. And next week is the I'm gonna say it wrong, the Mamonides <laughs> baseball annual baseball charity event. Oh, I don't know how to say it. It's the baseball yeah, game. The annual baseball game. And her and Marge get into it. Jackie and Marge. And that's where Jackie Judas Goldschneider starts. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. I've been so team not Jackie for so long. It is hard to be like, okay, I like Jackie now. But I like anyone who likes Teresa. Because I'm a soldier for Teresa. Mm. I'll say it. I'm a tree soldier. I am too. <laughs> I just can't stand Melissa. I or, know. You I, know. Actually, my mom was just a lot, like had the re- rerun of the first episode on in the living room, and she was where Melissa was mm-hmm. like, "Hi, Teresa, I'm Louie. I'm here." I'm like, "You are just so lame. I literally can't. You are <laughs> fucking lame." AF. Well, did you see? She did an interview with like ET Weekly or something. And they asked her, like, oh, Melania got into a car accident. Did you reach out? And she was like, no, why would I do that? Nobody's on speaking terms. And then went off on this, like, diatribe about, like, her marriage with Joe and all this stuff. And it's like, just just say yeah. no. And just then keep me. it moving. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. It was weird. She's a weirdo. So lame. Facts. Lame man. They were at my nephew's, uh, like, he plays, it's called, like, Saturday Night Under the Lights. And there's like a bunch of different age groups and stuff. And my brother texted me. He's like, you should have come tonight. The Gorgas are here. That's great. So I'm going to go next weekend. I wonder if they'll be there. <laughs> it's the playoffs. So hmm. we'll see. Well, we have Jersey again on Sunday. I'm excited. I just think it's always good. Nothing bad about it. I'm like super distracted right now because my neighbor across the street has been fucking repairing a Humvee in his like driveway for weeks and now he's working on the sound system and he's fucking bass bumping and he does it like once a day and I'm like, bro, you live in a cul-de-sac. Like, stop. (laughs) My husband went out and said something to him the other day. I was like, don't do it. Don't be a Karen. Don't be a Karen. He's like, no, I'm going to go over nicely and just be like, dude, you got to stop. You live in a cul-de-sac. (laughs) No. Well, it's like all of our driveways like touch yours. Fucking stop. Yeah. So annoying. Anyways, that is not related to what's going on right now. Let's talk about the Summer House Martha's Vineyard finale, which was just a weird way to end a season. And I don't, it did not jive. It didn't feel 
like a it finale was weird. episode. I, okay, so like I, I will we can get to the beginning later, but in the end, like I thought everyone was gonna like have a little piece to say, and it was just Jasmine that said something, and then it just ended. It was so weird. It was very weird. Yeah. Um, but we started off with Alex's music video paint party and <laughs> waves, 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 waves. Shut the fuck up, Alex. You're not that deep. That's all I need He's you to John know. Legend's Thank you. cousin, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> waves, waves. You're such a tryhard, okay? Like, please. Shut Preston's the fuck version up. of waves, waves, waves was my favorite. You gotta do the finger. You gotta do the finger. And then Summer with, like, the dark and the light and the dark. Shut the and fuck then up. You, and like, he was inside yeah. And then you me. go dark and oh then sometimes God. you go to the light and then you go dark again and then sometimes you can You're find also the light. a fucking tryhard <laughs> wannabe. No, we uh, thank God Shanice was like, I'd rather be at the bar. Me too, Shanice. For Me reals. Too. Honestly, Shanice is probably the only person I can relate to, even though I find her so annoying. Same. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is I like her, But she's another one who's like, dick, dick, dick. Like, enough. Like, we get it. You have I sex. Yeah. Like, I don't, you can't be having that much sex if it's all you're talking right. about, right? Like, I just, I don't know. I agree I with that. Know. It's like, just have it. You don't talk about it all the time. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. I'm gonna get canceled for not being sex positive, but it's just like, come on. I'm not not I sex know. positive. It's just like I don't need to hear that you're getting dick every night. Right. Like I don't care. Agreed. And it's like, and in every opportunity that you have to walk around in a thong, you don't have to take it. You could just wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to take all the opportunities. <laughs> I will say though, if I had a body like that, she I'd probably be walking around in a thong like, all the time. You can too. also, you know, look I mean, skirt. I don't know. Like, you can look yeah, good in I pajama mean, shorts. I'd probably show like, off too. You could look good wearing <laughs> workout clothes. Like, we could look good in a lot of things. I don't know. It's just me. And then if you're going to do that, like, please don't make them Victoria's Secret pink every time. Like, let's go, let's spring for something a little bit more. I don't know. <laughs> a little more classy. Let's jazz it up a little. <laughs> I don't want to see that little dog from Victoria's Secret on your underwear anymore. And that is my rant about that. Um, I didn't get the Amir and Bria fight really, but um, I just died so hard here when Amir's like, stop yelling at me. He <laughs> cannot. No, stop raising your voice to me. Your voice. <laughs> I guess he, I mean, I guess she kind of called out his girlfriend, but she wasn't wrong. She's a menace. Like, Bria is just a straight Thank menace. God for Bria, though. Otherwise, this season so would have been boring. so fucking and then boring. And tried to run away because he was over it all. I mean, yeah. we got, I like, we got a five-minute segment of Milo. I mean, that's how boring the show was. I'll be honest with you. It fizzled for I, me, guys. It fizzled I made a man with Milo running away to the tune of Queen, I Want to Break Free. <laughs> I saw that and like just cackled. Like the music was top notch. I am really choice. learning how to be creative with our reels these days. I'm going to take a class. Maybe. I like I'm, it. No, I'm not great at it, but I do my best. Ooh. I'm doing my best. That's awesome. I'm pretty good. You do 3,000. Thank you. Though. Thank you. Um, Summer left early, but it was like 12 hours Bye. early. Like everyone left the next morning. I didn't even Walk understand that. Point. Like she was so dramatic about that like she, again you should so have left a week annoying. ago and then she probably wouldn't have like pushed bria or pushed noelle and screamed at everyone else oh did yeah. you guys like what did you think about bria saying like that simon was not her soulmate but they'll probably get married and her soulmate that was hilarious in tribeca. In tribeca. <laughs> my soulmate's in tribeca another reason why bria is gold she says that was hilarious interessante i don't know and then summer just ended and then Jasmine had her baby and Silas showed up. I thought that was very cute. I didn't know he was able to mm-hmm. make it. I that was I kept asking her that at BravoCon. I was like, not kept asking, but I was like, is he gonna be able to be there? And she's like, Well, I notify him that I go into labor and then like the military determines if he gets to leave or not. So he was never gonna probably make the birth, which he didn't. He, but he arrived sixteen hours later, mm-hmm. it said, which was very sweet. Not too shabby. Very, very sweet. Um, and little baby Sai was born. That picture of her and him was really beautiful too. Mm-hmm. Congrats. The reunion looks came out and they were trash. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Summer <laughs> looked beautiful actually. That's like the only person that I thought looked decent. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pull them up and look at them again. They were trash. All I know is I had a lot of thoughts about trash. Jordan's trash. outfit. Did I post them? 
Oh yeah. Okay, Jasmine. Yeah. I didn't. I thought she looked cute, and I liked the blonde on her. I thought she looked very like mm-hmm. I'm a mom now, but I'm still cool. Um, Nick looked like Nick, pink blazer, you know, little loafs. Jordan, what are you wearing? What is this Saran wrap top? Meat dress. Lady well, Gaga meat like, dress. Uh, <laughs> that's all I think of. I kept getting was like the no scrubs video, but like gone wrong, way <laughs> wrong. Like when they had the reflector boob tops. <laughs> mm-hmm. But this is like what? It's like red Saran on a black bra. It looks with like... A, like and sh- It's like the shoes just, just make it work. I don't know what's happening, but that's bad. Bria looked cute. The little pink dress. Her dress is Giovanni. Oh, and Giovanni. Oh, I love Giovanni. Um, Shanice, it's fine. She's, She's wearing, wearing clothes. Clothes. Not underwear. It's like the baby doll dress doesn't do it for me, especially when you are not a baby doll, but I don't know. Listen. Okay. Amir with the all. cutoff sweater. No. Not no. for me. No. Oh, Preston. Looked great in this hat. Come on, Barbie, let's go party in that pink. He has to have some sort of stock in that hat company, and you will not convince me otherwise. You find something you You like, you buy. Okay, but that doesn't mean you have to wear it every single day for the rest of your life. Well, it's not every day. It's just every day that you're seeing him. Um, Summer looked great. Why Mm -hmm. is Alex wearing bell bottoms? And a tight, tight it looks top. Like he shops I don't at Zara understand this. With Tom Sandoval. He does look like Tom Sandoval section. in this outfit. I don't. <laughs> it's because he's deep. Waves, he's deep. Waves, 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 waves. Oh, and then waves. Noel. Okay, a bandage dress. I mean, that's like very, you know. That was like, I felt like that was like early 2000s. Early, like 2015, yeah. right? Like Everyone 2015, had their Herve right? dress. Herve yeah. Leger. No, sorry, yeah. I didn't say it Frenchly. Like I said. Oh, that's croissant. surprising. You always say croissant. <laughs> what else was the other word we talked about? I don't remember. I told you I say oh, croissant word. French. I know. I, know, I don't remember what else. it was. No. I don't And either. I always say Ibiza, but that's just because of you guys. <laughs> um, so they're getting a, like a Watch What Happens live reunion, I believe, next week. And that'll be the end of Martha. That'll be the end. Right. Below deck is kind of losing me too, not because it's not like good, but just because like I hate Ben. The new chef is annoying, and like I think Barbie and Kyle together are just like don't they don't go together. They go together like I don't even know. Summer like, and clothes, tuna fish and <laughs> tuna fish and peanut butter, like just gross. I don't know. Um, but Captain Carrie is really on one this week about people keeping tidy because the tidy yacht is the happy. I yacht. love it, but. I just am like, where have you been all season? <laughs> like, we barely seen you, and now you're like really obsessed with things being tidy. Yeah, weird. weird. I just like it because Ben doesn't like it, and Ben's ben, a little bitch. I hate Ben. <laughs> I hate ben. Agrees. He's such a disrespectful <laughs> loser too. It's like, okay, maybe he's coming late in the party for the, you know, the inspections, but he's still your boss, and like, you don't just get to decide you don't feel like doing it, you little baby back bitch. He's been talking. I'm pissed Sunny slept with him again because have some self respect. I think they're like dating, now? dating. Oh, like in real like life. In real life really? now, oh, yeah. look at yes. that. But Ben has been talking mad shit about Captain Carrie on he his has. Instagram. Yeah, I'm like, recently. you're never going to get hired like, back. You get that right. You can't talk about the below deck captain and expect them to hire you back. You're not that cool. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Um, someone else did that. And I'm like, they're never going to hire you if you talk about the captain of the yacht on the show. <laughs> Who's going to hire you back? It's not like it's fake. I just can't. And also, you when you said Sunny have some self respect, the fact that they're dating now when he was like gearing up to get back with Camille, like have some self fucking respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is gross. Thank you. Gross. Okay. Barbie is kind of checked out, and Sandy is about to lose her mind about it, and she does blow up on her in the finale next week about not good. Eating. Sometimes people I'm deserve it. it. I'm not sure if Sometimes this is well deserved, deserve but I, I would like blow up. up. And I like Paris. I think she's funny. I don't know. Kyle is so in love with Barbie. He's like changed his flight. He's going to fly to Miami. I just, I'm like, I don't see this lasting the plane ride over if it even makes it that far. <laughs> Summer agrees. He'll have a week in Miami. Yeah, she said. Summer agrees. Um, so the finale is next week. The end. 
And I don't know if they're getting a reunion or I... not. The low decks, I feel like, are hard to get reunions. I know we got one on the on sailing yacht because there was so much drama going on, but uh... that was like the last good yeah. season. And we're never gonna get one again because Gary fucking ruined it. <laughs> Thank Gary. you, Gary. I know. It, it does Fuck suck. You, I'm like, we're man. never gonna see that season with Tiffany Moon. I wanted to see Tiffany mm. Moon. God damn it. Um, speaking of boring, Vanderpump Reunion Part 2, I was like, I don't even know what's going on. I mean, I don't even think anything happened. And Not I, necessary. Yeah, I don't even think we have to talk about it. I can honestly I be honest even, like, by saying it was, there was the nothing to say. The only thing to say is like, why was Joe even there? Like, I didn't even, what was the point of that? Yeah. I think to watch her have a meltdown. Right. And, and so time, that, basically. Somebody was like, I felt bad because, you know, we watch reality TV as an escapism. And then oh. Katie went and posted all this oh. stuff on the internet. I'm like, but that's what you signed up for. So right. thank you. I Goodbye. mean, what did they think Katie was going to apologize to her? Like <laughs> What, so Katie's gonna be okay with you like moving in with her husband right. after you texted her and we're like, Bieber I'm so sorry. You. Yeah, like whatever the fuck I that means. I still don't understand. Does that mean like Justin acts. Bieber? And I don't think, I think he so. loves her. I don't, I don't know. So that was just a lie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Justin Bieber even knows. I know, who she this is. whole thing is weird. I'm like, why, just Joe? Why were you in there? It doesn't even make sense to me. Yeah. At all. I did find it interesting that everyone was like. You and Tom, like, weren't close. She, you're Kristen Doty's friend. Like, how did you end up, like, moving in? And I'm like, that is weird. Hmm. I'm sure she wanted to get on the show. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. this she, is. Obviously, she can't no. handle it, though. No. no she's not, not meant for it. Her Danny and me need to go I'm also not built away. for reality TV. I think I would be fantastic because you could say whatever the fuck you want about me, and I literally yeah. don't care. I will laugh in your face if you call you me a fat like, slob. I will be like, you have to care though, because you need. We need the drama. We need the health. Oh, I would fight yeah. back, but like my feelings wouldn't get hurt. Like I wouldn't cry because someone said something no, mean about me not or to me. I just like privacy. So well, like, I really yeah, want that's like, not the for fan you, aspect. Like it's yeah, not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was boring. I'm like, why? I just don't know why we need all these parts. It, none of it made sense. We started where we ended, where, like, Lala is trying to get Katie to, like, say that she was talking shit about Ariana. It's, like, not going to happen. So just stop. You sound stupid. hmm Yeah, it was a filler episode. It's not needed. I hate when they force three episodes yeah. to a reunion. I think they were so excited about, like, how Santa or VPR was last season like there were so many viewers and they tried to like carry on with that but they just waited too long and it just it didn't work for them they waited way too long because like especially like everybody's on Ariana's ass like oh you have to forgive him like get over it but when they're recording it's just a few months later like yeah. we're now a year out and we're like get like, over it's it different. yeah I, was just I agree weird. I was like what is this sound why is there a helicopter flying over my house but it's just these headphones make my dryer sound like it's a helicopter. Oh. I'm like, what is this? Like it's taken off? Now? Circling my house. Right? I'm losing it. I've lost it. I'm gone. Dead. Dead. Go you bed. should go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Yeah. Go to, bed. Go to that, sleep. Let's talk about the valley, though. Let's just move on from Vanderpump. I'm over it. Bye, Vanderpump. Yes. Um, The valley. They're still in the Big Bear. The Big Bear. The Big Bear. And I guess the whole thing is they're going to gear up to throw Janet a baby shower, but we never actually get to the baby shower. Janet is annoying. I do like that she's like I don't like her. She's she I annoyed like she's me. Like I don't fucking like dramatic her. Dramatic, and she's like making this show good, but she is annoying me. And then I'm like, was I this annoying pregnant? Probably. <sighs> anyway. <no. laughs> She was annoying. I want to know if you guys think that Michelle was lying and if she actually sexts with celebs. (laughs) And I kind of think that Jesse's okay with it. (laughs) He's pimping her out. What's he going to be like? Oh, my wife cheated on me on national (laughs) television. He's probably like, whatever. He doesn't want to admit that. His ego would never let him admit that. Uh, Right. Uh, Are you sure about that? Lies, lies. Um, Zach then putting on his story that he was in Big Bear was so funny to me. <laughs> I like that level, Petty. I'm into that. 
I love I a good pet. You guys know I love a good petty. Oh, that Janet being like, is he here? Oh, my the God. Bushes? Like, I'm going to call 911. It's like, chill. At, like, What is he going to do? Beat right. you up? Like, relax, Janet. I did appreciate Zach saying going to Kirsten's spa day is actually a shit talking yeah, day. Same. And I, I, I feel that. I'm also wondering, like, why, why, like, I don't know how I want to phrase this, but I like just Kristen's like, she's here, but she's not here. But like, if you want her to be here and you want her to like make the show, then we need more from her than a pedicure at her house. Cause that's not yeah. doing it for me. Mm-hmm. Um, we keep talking about this. Jack's accusing Brittany of drinking and like, is it Jack's being an asshole or is Brittany a drunk? And I'm still like, I don't know what it is. It's both. So it's I both. don't think Brittany's a drunk. I don't think she has a drinking problem. I think she has a stomach issue that stems from having a drink or two and she should probably stop drinking. Do I think she's an alcoholic with a drinking problem? No. I think she probably likes to have a good time and her stomach just can't handle it. I think though, if you get to the point where your doctor has told you, you can't drink, it's fucking with your stomach. And then you keep drinking. What is this? Eight years, nine years later. Yeah. You can't stop drinking. I think it's a problem, but you're not a drunk. Okay. There's a problem. Sloppy. And like drinking daily. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. That's a valid point. But Jax is an asshole. Well, that is also true. But at the same point, like him having to deal with this all the time. Like I, okay. He's still an asshole, but I get that he's annoyed. He's just obviously going about. Yeah. Doing it in front of people. Yeah. Voicing, voicing his, voicing his uh, well, feelings. That he's not doing like, that the right. Then way. we have the fourth wall, which is like you're making your wife look like a drunk on television. Like she, I, like that's what she's mad at. Not yeah. that he's like mm-hmm. doing it in front of their friends or whatever. Yeah, but I don't know. Um, no, I didn't it's... understand the Jesse and Danny fight. Can anyone like fill me in on what happened there? The, what were they fighting and then they play fighting? I don't think Danny didn't like that Jesse was Danny like, is fighting too sensitive. With Amanda him? said it yeah. last week, and it's true. Too sensitive. I did. Yeah. Wait. Just look at the... I did. When he said, "Oh, I have to wake up every two hours and put kids on boobs." First of all, your wife is the one using those boobs. Second right. of all, what do you want a fucking award for it, bro? Shut the fuck up and do it. Everyone is tired when you have twins. Like I couldn't even imagine. But that's your life. Like when he's like, she doesn't appreciate me. What? Right. Shut yeah. the get out of my life I'm right now, you right now. With your bullshit. How about that? My husband All ever guys... said anything about how much he does, but I am the dairy farm, <laughs> the dairy queen. Like, no, and to the <laughs> no way. All of the guys just like sitting there crying oh. and being like, "Oh, I'm not appreciated." It's like, shut. We are very much watching you not treat your right. significant others <laughs> yeah. very nicely. Yeah. You're crying on the couch while the women are cooking, are cooking you dinner. You dinner. Yeah. Like, yeah. get real. No. Get no. fucking real. Get get real is also, right, men. Fucking men. Man, I don't like them. I'll um, tell you. marriage, <laughs> marital counseling session. I'm like, are we kidding? You are giving out marital advice to people. You went to one ayahuasca retreat and you're going to give out marital advice to people? <laughs> no. I, no. No, no, no. No, thank you. Can't do it. Anywho, that was uh, anything else on the valet? I'm enjoying I'm it. enjoying it. I'm still really upset that there's not going to be a reunion. Same. Like, I'm, I'm really mad really, about that. Really I'm so, like, I'm so confused. But like, there's they said there was, and now they're saying there isn't. I just am so confused. Yeah. Why did they say about. that there was one originally? But I'm mad about Maybe it. Maybe wishful thinking. Maybe they're trying to manifest it. Yes. Maybe I made it. I definitely up, saw it on sure uh, Instagram somewhere. Yeah, I think I mm-hmm. reposted it. That's why I'm like. What happened there? But we'll see. I don't know. Anyways, yes. Well, another good week of Bravo, ladies. Get secure up for yeah. Summer House tonight. Yeah. I'm getting my white pants right out of the closet right now. I'm going to go pick up my groceries for the weekend and get some Lover Boys because we're going away. And I will be drinking. Where are you going? Oh, where are you it's going? MDW. Oh, it's we're MDW. going to yeah. uh, upstate. Very nice. Go ride some four wheelers, oh. shoot some guns, you know, live the dream. 
America. Sounds like a blast. Get drunk. I'm going to get lit Sounds every day. Blast. Thank you. Litty titty. Litty fucking titty. Yes. I'm going to do a little grill and chill by my pool. That's fun. That sounds yeah. good. Keeping it cash, you know? My sister's in town. My mom's still here. I love that for you. My other sister was in town. It's been a lot of visitors. It's been nice. That was nice mm-hmm. that your sister came. It's like living in a compound. It's like, well, my sister <laughs> brought her her son, too, who's not even one. So it's like, okay, there's a crying baby. Whoever's available, just pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was nice. Dars, gardening Land- this weekend? Gardening, landscaping. That's very MDW yeah. Oh, cute. Mm-hmm. Wow. Cute. Are you going to look at Brock's tutorials on how he's been putting his papers down before you do it? I'm going to go with no. My husband's a professional. So. <laughs> <laughs> I will say they look nice. <laughs> he's been making columns in their front yard. Oh and Summer Moon helps out. He's got to do something because he doesn't have a job. Amen. Amen. Well, anyways, if you like what you heard here, you can follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Follow us on our socials. We are on Instagram, Threads, and TikTok at Bougie Bravo Bitches. On Twitter at Bougie Bravo Bees. We have a Facebook group and we also have a YouTube channel. That's it, bitch. Bye.